Hi there. In this video I want to show you how to remove chrome or what we call it chrome stripping. Um, this is a normal pipe. It's chrome plated or chrome pipe yeah, from any DIY shop you can get it. Um, well the most important really in this case what we use here is quite dangerous stuff is safety. So I would recommend put definitely gloves on. It's very very important. Um, so put the gloves on and yeah use also I would recommend to use a mask as well which I'll show you in a minute I'll put the mask normally on in this case or you, if you're outside it doesn't matter but I would recommend a mask yeah, the stuff what you remove the chromium when you remove it with this kind of technique here is quite toxic yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't use without mask or gloves definitely. Make sure you're you know safety first basically. Right, when we start I use this you can get it from my eBay shop or no, you, in this case this stuff you can get on more my, my website. Right, it's chrome stripper, simple chrome stripper what we use. A beaker And I use um, stainless steel electrodes. That's the only time where I use stainless steel electrodes when I do chrome stripping. Yeah. I only use it for chrome stripping, nothing else. This is the pipe we have already seen. Um, swap. Water. You know, you can use normal tub water for rinsing in this case. Um, Rinse very well. When you're finished, make sure it's well, very well rinsed. Now the next one, switch on the rectifier. Now the thing is very important now. You need to swap plus or minus. You can swap it on the rectifier, like I show you now, like plus or minus you swap. Or you can uh, swap the plus and minus on what I normally do on the electrode. So you put the minus in the electrode, normally you put the plus in, and the plus on the item. So you, you play with about between four and six volt roughly. This will do four and a half in this case. As I left the rectifier as it would be normally plus and plus, minus and minus, I swap it here, put the minus into the electrode. And yeah, put the plus on the item when you normally play it the other way around, of course. In this case, chrome stripping reverse plus and minus very important. And when you're finished, make sure you swap it around again when you do normal plating. Right, put the swap on normal swap, or you can get on the eBay shop or on my website as well. Chrome stripper, normal chrome stripper. In this case, there are different ways to do it. I'll show you another way as well. Um, yeah, and then you basically start stripping now. Make sure you soak it very well, otherwise, there's no contact, no current going through, and it will not strip like with every plating. You must make sure everything is connect connected well and so on. Right, put the cable, in this case the plus cable on the item. Um, and then you start stripping basically. You can start stripping and it sh you should see it straight away. I do only half of the pipe. You can see the different now already. It, it strips very quickly. Um, I do only half to show you the different color. The nickel is a little bit of yellowish color. make sure the area is completely stripped with it from the chrome otherwise if you want to gold plate this afterwards it will not stick on it or will not even go on if there's any chrome left rinse it well when you finish job done basically you can see the color difference Here we go. 
little this area. When you finish, rinse it very well. Job done. This this is how you can do it with the brush blading, right? Basically, remove. So now I'll show you a different way. Here we go, stripping the chrome at a tank. This is a 25 liter tank. In this case, I've got another one which is about 80 or 90 liters, which I use sometimes for much much bigger items. Well, it's the same stuff what we used earlier for chrome stripping same solution basically yeah same stuff and again safety first make sure you wear gloves a mask maybe and you know be careful with this stuff as you can see uh, three there are stainless steel um, electrodes in the tank just normal stainless steel bent over and simple easy is chrome stripping no fuss basically right here we go and I'll show you now I'll put the rectifier on now Put the item in in a minute. Uh, put the yeah five volt. Is, yeah, put it on five volt. Um, yeah, then you put the item in. I only put it in. Again, I I leave a little bit left on top, as you can see there. I don't put it in all the way, just to see the different color when it's finished, stripped, and it takes off. It it, it strips very very quickly. Basically within seconds, basically, but I leave it in about maybe 30 seconds, a minute, maybe. Depends what item it is. And depends on the thickness of the chrome blading as well. Right, I'll show you the amp meter in a, moment, uh, in a minute, because it's in the tank, you always look at an amp. 1.7, that's fine. One Between 1 and 2 amp is fine. Here we go, take it out, and you can see already, can you see it just about, just about, you can see I didn't put it all the way in. You can see now the mark roughly on the top. You can see just about a little bit of chrome left on the top there where the mark is a little bit. Yeah, finished basically. That's it. Yeah, you can take it out now, rinse it very well. Job done basically, and you're done. That's it. Thanks for watching, and all the details you can see here now goldensolution.co.uk. You can contact me there or over eBay or you can phone me. All the details are on there on eBay or on my website. You can get everything, the plating kits, everything basically. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye.